So I can't actually tell how like good or bad this lighting is because I can't really see my screen that well because I'm outside experiencing the sunshine. Whoa, what if I did my video like this where you can't see me hardly at all? And our like summer part two because I live in the desert. Your fall just began officially yesterday. But um this is just the second part of the summer. There's like summer summer when I'm not here and it's horrible. And then there's the monsoons, and then there's the second the second coming of the summer when it's really hot, but not like going to murder you. So it's like four o'clock and I'm experiencing it. I'm enjoying it. Um I stepped outside the door and immediately encountered wildlife. On the way outside. Look at this big ass lizard. You're not getting a proper representation of how big this lizard is as a comparison to like all the other lizards. I'm hesitant to stick my foot out because I'm afraid of this lizard. There's the foot, there's the lizard. It scared the crap out of me. It's not concerned by my presence at all. I live in a desert. But I got through it. I reacted as any reasonable American would and pulled out my camera to document the experience. This week was mostly just my reveling and not being ill and enjoying every day as it, as it came. I'm hooked on a new show called Lost Girl. It's a sci-fi original series. It was on my Tumblr dash, looked cool. I watched it. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with it now. And it's not even like the main character that I care about, but by the way, the show is about like the secret underground world of the Fae. Okay, it's really, it's cool. It's cool. They just got confirmed for a third season, so as soon as I catch out, it's gonna be starting. Everything worked out perfectly as far as timing goes. I'm not even in it for, like, the main character. Um, her, like, human bestie named Kenzie is hilarious and amazing. And, yeah, there are ants all over my computer bag. And that's fun. Um, hey, guess what? So, Friday was my mom's birthday. That's exciting. She got new exciting photography software I've been made to understand. That's my entire knowledge of how your birthday went. So yeah, I hope that was good for you. There is something moving on a palm tree over there. That is massively huge. And I feel in my heart that it is a bug, not a lizard. And this leaves me very concerned for my safety. Like, a locust-sized grasshopper is just chilling out on a palm tree over there. I'm gonna die. Death by desert fauna. It is now officially 4 o'clock. Um, as far as things that happened in my life, aside from school, all I really have to talk about is ballroom, which was awesome this week because we did foxtrot and swing, which are my favorites. So, you know, I'm dancing up with the intermediates, I'm wearing my ballroom shoes, I'm rocking it, just being really cool and really awesome. Um, I'm just, I'm super amazing, you know, in all avenues of life. I guess I'll just segue right into Glee and Doctor Who, but I'm not going to ramble about them extensively because then I feel this video will be too long. Glee, I really enjoyed. I thought it was an awesome, hilarious episode. My heart broke for Britannia several times because poor Brittany. <laughs> Sam and Brittany said in friendship, though, was like adorable. And because he like got what she was doing with her like breakdown, she was just being Britney Spears, okay? And nobody, like, got it. Because Santana wasn't there to get her. Glee. I don't know, I just liked it. It was a good episode. It was funny. Though, my biggest point of unhappiness was that Will Schuster reacted with more anger and severity to them lip-syncing one performance in the McKinley gym than he did to anything else that has ever happened in the show. He didn't react that strongly to anyone bullying Kurt, to Finn outing Santana, to anything Sue Sylvester has ever inappropriately or harshly said to the kids, to no things I'm not thinking of right now, but just go back in your head, list of grievances, things done wrong to Glee Club characters or by Glee Club characters that Schuster, as their teacher, should have been dealing with. Nothing received as angry or as harsh a reaction as the lip-syncing that doesn't really matter. 
Um, which brings me to Doctor Who, which wasn't at its best this week, I have to say. There are moments of the episode that I liked because it's Doctor Who and how can I not, like, enjoy an episode, but I didn't think it was very well written. Um, there were a ton of references to classic Who, and they weren't very well explained to people who don't know what it is. Like, I am aware of Unit, but I don't know anything about it other than its name and its existence. And they didn't really give us any information to make that make more sense. Now I expect that woman in the team to come back in the future, so I'm sure we'll get more information eventually, but I didn't think that was very well done. Um... The ending of the episode was like really really rushed so we got like barely any explanation for the plot like our explanation for why the cubes were there and what they were doing in that alien race like who the heck were they it wasn't we weren't really told i don't know i just didn't really like the plot portion of the show i have a lot of amy pond feels though and I just hope her ending isn't horrible. But because it's Moffat, it will probably be horrible. I don't know if I have anything else to say about it. It was good, but not as, you know, mind-blowingly fantastic as all Doctor Who episodes should be. But I have high expectations for the next one because Weeping Angels. So, yeah, that's my face. That's my week. I'm gonna hang up on you now. Hang up. I'm going to, I'm going to stop recording now and enjoy my outside and read the third Game of Thrones book, which I've just put onto my iPad. Those are my plans. Yes, that's all. Related extra birthday wishes to my mother. Goodbye.